How's it going, people? Nothing much to drink to, but I thought I'd bring an old standby. Just for company. This is the penultimate chapter. Chapter 9 of Moroni. And we've got a double masthead. The second epistle of Mormon to his son Moroni. Because we wouldn't have figured that out without them telling us that. Yeah. Atrocities committed by Lamanites and Nephites. A father's last and affectionate admonition. <clears throat> mm. One, my beloved son, I write unto you again that ye may know that I am yet alive. But I write somewhat of that which is grievous. Well, that and it only tells you he was alive at the time of his writing. <laughs> if he didn't hand you this note, this epistle, he could be dead. Besides, they're both prophets. They should know already. Two. For behold, I have had a sore battle with the Lamanites in which we did not conquer. And um, Archetus has fallen by the sword. And also Luram and Imran, yea, and we have lost a great number of our choice men, not just the ones named on gold. <sighs> Three. And now, behold, my son, I fear lest the Lamanite shall destroy this people, for they do not repent, and Satan, Satan stirreth them up continually to anger one with another. For, behold, I am laboring with them continually, and when I speak the word of God, with sharpness they tremble in anger against me. And when I use no sharpness, they harden their hearts against it. Wherefore, I fear lest the Spirit of the Lord hath ceased striving with them. 5. For so exceedingly do they anger that it seemeth me that they have no fear of death. And they have lost their love one towards another, and they thirst after blood and revenge continually. Six. And now, my beloved son, Notwithstanding their hardness, let us labor diligently. For if we should cease to labor, we should be brought under condemnation. For we have a labor to perform whilst in this tabernacle of clay that we may 
conquer the enemy of all righteousness and rest our souls in the kingdom of God. 7. And now, I write somewhat concerning the sufferings of this people. For according to the knowledge which I have received from Amaron, behold, the Lamanites have many prisoners, which they took from the tower of Sherizah, Sherizah, yes. and there were men, women, and children, eight, and the husbands and fathers of those women and children they have slain. Then they don't have them anymore. Why'd you bring them up? She just said, hey, they killed them and took the others. I mean, if I was writing on gold, I would be a little more efficient in my abridgments. And they feed the women upon the flesh of their husbands and the children upon the flesh of their fathers. And no water, save a little, do they give unto them. They're just a bunch of meanies, aren't they? Because they're devil worshippers. Nine, and notwithstanding this great abomination, Of the Lamanites, it doth not exceed that of our people in Moriantum. For, behold, many of the daughters of the Lamanites have been taken prisoners, and after depriving them of that which was most dear and precious above all things, which, which is chastity and virtue. 10. <coughs> and after they had done this thing, they did murder them in a most cruel manner, after depriving them of their chastity. <sighs> I get it. In a, a, a most cruel manner, torturing their bodies even unto death. Uh, and after they had done this, they devour their flesh like a wild beast, because of the hardness of their hearts. And they do it for a token of bravery. Eleven. O oh, my beloved son, how can a people like this that are without civilization? Uh, dash uh, 12 starts with parentheses here. And only a few years have passed away, and they were a civil and delightsome people, in parenthetical and in verse. I've never seen a verse that's all in parentheses. <laughs> Yeah. They used to be a delightsome people. I wonder what that meant. Thirteen. But, oh, my son, how can a people like this, whose delight is so in so much abomination, Fourteen. How can we expect that God will stay his hand in judgment against us because of them? Ah. Fifteen. Behold, my heart cries, Woe unto this people. Come out in judgment, O God. 
and hide their sins and wickednesses and wait, and hide their sins and wickedness and abominations from before thy face. who remain in uh, Shariza uh, and that part of the provisions which the Lamanites did not carry away behold the army of uh, Xenophi has carried away and left them to wander whithersoever they can for food. And many old women do faint by the way and die. <coughs> 17. And the army which is with me is weak. And the armies of the Lamanites are betwixt uh, Sherizah and me. And as many as have fled to the army of Aaron have fallen victims to their awful brutality. 18. Oh, the depravity of my people. They are without order and without mercy. And I'm out of air. my commands. 19. And they have become strong in their perversion, and they are alike brutal, sparing none, neither old nor young, and they delight in everything save that which is good. I don't like that, though. And the suffering of our women and our children upon all the face of the land doth exceed everything. Yea, tongue cannot tell. Neither can it be written, or at least you lack the talent to do it. <laughs> Twenty. And now, my son, I dwell no longer upon this horrible scene. Behold, thou, thou knowest the wickedness of this people. Thou knowest that they are without principle and past feeling, and their wickedness, wickedness doth exceed that of the Lamanites. 21. <clears throat> Behold, my son, I cannot recommend them unto God, lest he should smite me. 22. But behold, my son, I recommend thee unto God, and I trust in Christ that thou wilt be saved. And I pray unto God that he will spare thy life to witness the return of his people unto him. Or their utter destruction, 
for I know that they must perish except they repent and return unto him. <coughs> 23. And if they perish, it will be like unto the Jaredites. <laughs> because of the willfulness of their hearts, seeking for blood and revenge. 24. And if it, be, if it so be that they perish, we know that many of our brethren have dissented over unto the Lamanites, and many more will also dissent over unto them. Wherefore, write somewhat a few things. If thou art spared, and I shall perish and not see thee, but I trust that I may see thee soon, for I have sacred records that I would deliver up unto thee. 25. My son, be faithful in Christ. And may not the things which I have written grieve thee to weigh thee down unto death. But may Christ lift thee up. And may his sufferings and death and the showing his body unto our fathers and his mercy and long suffering and the hope of his glory and of eternal life rest in your mind forever. Yeah, just keep thinking about that. <laughs> 26. And may the grace of God the Father, whose throne is high in the heavens, cloud nine I hear, and our Lord Jesus Christ, who sitteth on the right hand of his power. Is he really sitting on his hand? That's kind of silly. All right. Who sitteth on the right hand of his power until all things shall become subject unto him. Be and abide with you forever. Amen. And that's it for nine, the penultimate chapter. So I'll see you for the final chapter of the BOM next time around. Looking forward to it. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. And we made it, almost. Bye.